South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint thinks the rescue idea is just a bad one. Senator, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, uh, I know you're opposed to it. What does the government do in this case then? Well, there's no question we've got a big mess here, but I tell you, the, the one sure thing is this mess was caused by the government. Uh, they broke it. I don't trust them to fix it at this point. I see this as a trillion dollar band aid that's designed to get people past the next election, but it's not going to solve our problem. I think it's going to make it worse by expanding our national debt lowering the value of our dollar. What we need to do is some good pro-growth economic moves here that would lower our corporate tax rate, get rid of the capital gains, fix regulations. Corporate tax like rate, uh, just the corporate tax rate's about 35% right now, right? Well, one of the highest it's in the, the world. Second, second yeah, and uh, even to, to get where Europe is would be about 25%. But the capital gains tax keeps people from coming into the markets at a high risk time or moving their assets around. We know that would help the economy. The capital gains we tax is about what, 15% now? Right. Uh, and it discourages investment and it, and it actually discourages liquidity in the market. So the frustrating thing for those of us who believe in freedom here on, on Capitol Hill is we're not doing anything to make the free market work. In fact, we're trying to blame the free market for this problem when in fact it was caused by a government who wanted every American in a home whether they could afford it or not. We created easy credit, government guaranteed loans, and now the chickens have come home to roost and we've got a real problem. Uh, the solution you know, to the problem Senator, you, and, is and, you, and, and you might be, let me just get it from a different side here. You, you might be spot on with everything you're saying there, okay? But, but what, what is the danger in not acting? What is the danger in not pushing this forward? Uh, and I know you mentioned the election, 41 days away. Uh, but, but it seems to me that the following debate is happening at kitchen tables all across the country. And that is, uh, we should not be responsible for saving Wall Street. The taxpayers are saying that. And, and that's the debate you can clearly understand. That's part of your argument today. However... Um, if, if the economy is not solidified, all the jobs out there, uh, after this election comes and goes, there's a question as to whether or not they will be there, and, and therein lies the rub. In the end, does Congress make a move on this, knowing that their own fate lies 41 days away? Well, it looks like they will, unless the anger of the American people prevails here. We have no guarantees that, that we spend this $700 billion that we're going to solve the problem. There are a lot of indications we'll make it worse. Even though it may be for a couple of months or so, the markets will behave like things are going to be okay. I don't think we can get out of this without some pain, without some downturn in our economy. But we need to look past this next election. We need to look long term. And we need to fix our, our whole free enterprise system and get the burden of government off of it so that we can let freedom work in America. This is a move towards socialism. And once the government gets deep into our, our financial and credit industries, they're never going to get out of it. And we'll essentially get, give up a free enterprise economy and become more like a socialized Europe. And I'm just not ready to give up on freedom at this point. Senator, thank you for your time. Jim DeMint, a Republican from South Carolina. Thank you, sir. We'll watch it from here.